Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. I got to say, Cancer, I'm super excited about your reading, but I am hearing that someone is choking over your success. That's what I heard, choking over your success. Anyway, my darlings, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, right? And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. You guys, thank you for all of the comments. Thank you to all of my subscribers. Welcome to everybody new here. Welcome. I just just I just want to jump right into this, okay? Um, accelerated motion, recognition and reward, and prosperity begins. Like those are your oracle cards here for today. Cancer, I feel like you're you're getting the recognition and rewards that you deserve. Um, there's something I feel that you've been working on solo dolo with the divine right uh, being spiritually led because you're coming out as an earth angel here spirit is i i feel like they're telling you here yes you've been patient you've stayed prayed up you've done everything that spirit has asked you to do okay cancer and you're about to receive a big reward here it's in your hand in this picture so yeah cancer whatever you've done um it's going to be growing. Whatever you started, whatever you're working on, whatever um, your project is, it's about to all pay off or it is already. I feel like you're getting not just recognition and reward from the 5D, but a lot of people are recognizing you now for what you've been working on. And I feel like this is something that you've put a lot of hard work into. Okay, this is the reward that you're getting. Um, so yeah, prosperity begins, Cancer. You're going to start seeing all this money coming in. Okay, you could live in Georgia. I'm just seeing all of these peaches. Shout out to Georgia. Okay, um, but yeah, I feel like you're a divine feminine. I'm feeling a lot of feminine energy here. You're very grounded, very stable, balanced in your emotions. Okay, um, I feel like whatever heartache and trauma you've been put through in the past, that's like you're feeling better. Okay, you're just feeling better. Maybe you're not completely healed from it. You know, you still have some painful memories, but you're not heartbroken over it. And now you're focused. I feel like you're focused on money, success, whatever business this is. I feel like you could have started your own business and now it's all paying off. Okay. Um, so yes, Cancer, uh, this with the higher font with the Earth Angel, if you had needed a confirmation of whether or not you were a light worker and Earth Angel, I feel like this is it. Okay, this is it. Um, and Spirit is leading you to this place of prosperity where finally, maybe this could be the first time in your life where you've gotten recognition for anything. That's kind of what it feels like. Like, this has been a long time coming for you, Cancer, and you deserve this. Okay, so yes, recognition and reward coming in, right? And somebody is choking on your success. Um, yeah, ooh, there's, sorry about that, Spirit. That was my bad. <laughs> I tapped it with my fingernail, sorry. There's a whole bunch of people in the background that are choking over your success, okay? It's a group of people. They could be fighting with each other over this now. Um, I feel like these people grouped together to go against you, Cancer, or they wanted to see you in a time of struggle. They wanted to see you down and out. They wanted to see you out on the street. They wanted to see you with no one supporting you. Um, I feel like these people would get together and plan, plot, strategize against you how they were going to keep you down. Now they're all scrambling. Look at them. And they're, they're turning on each other now. Okay, so I don't know. I feel like they're just, they're very frustrated. They're amazed. They're literally choking on your success. Okay, I feel like all these people did was talk about you, put you down, thought you were going to stay down. Uh, but no, Cancer, you you got up. Yeah, look, you're in the sun. I'm telling you, your success, your recognition, they're all finding out about it. They're all able to see it, okay? Um, maybe you have your own platform, 
on the internet, okay? Um, or maybe you're just posting things on social media, or they could be just hearing gossip about you, but it's being exposed that you're an earth angel. You've got these people scrambling. The same people that planned, plotted, and strategized against you, the same people that wanted you down, now they're all scrambling and they're choking on your success. Yeah, see, this is how they wanted to see you in the Five of Pentacles energy, okay? Out in the cold, out on the street, not knowing where to go, not having enough money, going through a financial struggle. They all saw you like this. And I feel like while you were building your success, because you had to work on this, feel like everybody was laughing at you everybody was making fun of you or this group was okay they were all like yeah cancer's not going to accomplish anything cancer's out in the cold you know these people wanted you to look like a bum cancer but here you are in the ten of pentacles energy i am telling you and they are choking there's a, a masculine energy here that thought that they were better than you because they had more than you. Okay, they judged you for materialistic reasons. I feel like maybe at one point you were out in the cold. These people put you out in the cold. And some of these people were people that, you know, like um, you would think they should love you um, a lot. Like these could be ex-friends, ex-family members, an ex-lover, right? People that were really close to you, Cancer, that should have respected you and didn't. People that should have believed in you and didn't. Those are the people who, were cho who are choking now because you're doing great in life, okay? You're um, accomplishing something huge here. This is a, a tree that you planted. You planted this seed, and now it's growing. And you're able to... Um, you're able to reap the harvest of all your hard work, okay? So whoever this King of Pentacles is, they, it's almost like they thought they, they thought they were better because they had more money than you, or they had a fancier job, or they had fancier clothes, like you weren't fancy enough or something. And then, the, and then these people turned you into some kind of joke behind the scenes, laughed at you, criticized you, made fun of you because of your struggles. Now they're seeing you getting a lot of recognition and reward. They're seeing your dreams coming into reality, okay? They're seeing you reaping the, the rewards of all your hard work, being absolutely abundant. And I'm telling you, they're choking. They're watching you. It, like almost in disbelief, they can't believe, Cancer, that you were able to pick yourself up from what they've done. You know? So, yeah, they're choking on your success, all of them. I feel like it was a whole group. These people would group together just to make fun of you, Cancer. Now this person, this person, um, I feel like they're broke or nearly broke. The Four of Pentacles... That's having some rough times financially. If this person had, you know, money and stability when you knew them, I feel like they're running into some major money issues now. They only have four pentacles. You've got ten. You're an earth angel who's been led into prosperity and success. Yeah, so this now this... Once this King of Pentacles, they thought that they had more than you, you know, they were laughing at maybe how little you had at the time. We've all been in financial struggles. I know I was. I was born and raised in poverty, okay, for real. Um, but now, Cancer, things have changed. Things have shifted into your favor because of the effort you put in. And, and this person sitting over here looking at you like in disbelief, like, how did you do this? How did you get back up after what was done to you? How did you climb to the top, Cancer, when you're supposed to be, they think you're supposed to be in the Five of Pentacles energy out in the cold? Because spirit, spirit picked you up. You know, I'm seeing the divine always here for you. 
These people weren't. Yeah, so this person played you. Now they want to come back in, Cancer. See, now, now they're, um, they're, they're feeling very passionate, right? Um, now they want another chance with you. But they're, they're coming in as a, a knight of wands. This is somebody very immature. Somebody who's selfish. Really, just after, um, you know, usually I say after moments of gr uh, personal gratification. But this person is just out for themselves. Okay, they're, they're just for themselves. So this is somebody selfish, materialistic, you know, looking at you now because you've got all this money and success and recognition. This is a clout chaser. This is an opportunist. And you're over them. Look at you. You're on a pedestal now. They can't believe this, Cancer. They can't believe you got back up. They can't believe that you healed. They can't believe how successful you are. Okay? They're looking at you here in awe. How did you do this? Because now spirit has put you on a pedestal, and you're very balanced and healed. I feel like you're stronger than this whole entire group as well. Um, you have more integrity. Okay? This is like strength to me. And this is you moving on from a really um, long and difficult last cycle. You've got a lot of opportunities around you. This could be you on a public platform, um, a public speaker, somebody with some public status. Um, you could be doing something on the Internet and people are seeing what you're doing around the world. And this person wants to come in. And um, they want to come back in now, and I just feel like they want to play some kind of game, okay? Um, but I feel like they want to take advantage of all that you've got going on. You could have recently moved as, as well, upgraded into a new home, moved to a new location. Okay, these are coming out in reverse. Um, so the Queen of, of Wands and the King of cups in or knight of cups in reverse so this person here they got with somebody who they thought was flashier than you but this is clearly somebody um, promiscuous that they got with okay this this queen of wands she's like a tramp all right so um they got with somebody like that and i feel like this person was possibly cheated on or they're realizing that this this queen of wands really never loved them. I feel like she chases what, she goes after whatever she wants. Okay, this is somebody who's non-committal, this queen of wands. Okay, kind of a floozy energy, okay? And I feel like this person has been cheated on. And then here's you, keeping to yourself, staying silent, being extremely tapped into the divine and your path, Okay, not speaking to this person anymore, um, possibly trying to keep your moves hidden, right? Moving in silence. You're extremely intuitive. You may have told this person something, like made some kind of prediction, Cancer, about who they were getting with, um, who they chose over you, okay? And you ended up being absolutely correct. And you haven't been speaking to this person ever since they left you behind. That could have been years ago. Yeah, see, now, so now they're feeling like a fool. Because they missed out on an earth angel. Someone who's become very successful, very abundant. Your wishes are coming true. You're getting a lot of recognition. You've got some kind of public status. Okay. And they got with a tramp. That's what they chose. And now they're feeling stupid. And they're choking on your success. They're choking over your success. Okay. Yep. Now they feel really dumb. Yeah. Judgment. Yep. It's almost like now they see the truth. They could have. Look, this is destiny. Look. They sacrificed their destiny for this um, floozy, this queen of wands over you. 
they could have had a beautiful home. They could have had unlimited um, opportunities in the future, okay? You're in this Ten of Cups energy, Wheel of Fortune energy, Ten of Pentacles energy. Like, they could have been sharing this beautiful destiny with you, Cancer, had they only seen your value and given you some respect and consideration. If this person um, had made other choices, right? Um, if they weren't in and out of your life, or, um, you know, if they didn't cheat and choose someone else over you, if they had treated you with some decency cancer, they could have had all of this. All of this could have been theirs too. But they blew it. Okay? They blew it. They gave all of this beautiful, this beautiful destiny away. Just forfeited it for, um, for a floozy. That's what they did. And so this is their karma. This is fair. For everything that you've been put through, you get recognition and reward and, and abundance and success. And for their choices, for what they chose, they get to feel like a fool. Knowing that they missed out on the most beautiful destiny. Like, seriously, they could have had the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and unlimited opportunities with you. This is a destiny card. So, yeah, they're feeling really dumb. Um, give me one more. Uh, I'm going to take this over to Patreon. I want to see what kind of action this person's going to take towards you. Because, I don't know, it feels like right now they're just kind of wallowing in self-pity. Realizing that they've totally screwed up their future. Okay, feeling like a like a big dope. That's kind of what they're doing right now. And cancer, this was coming out in reverse. You're not waiting anymore. Um, this person completely underestimated you. They feel like a fool for that. Like I should have never underestimated cancer. Cancer, I feel like they laughed at your project. See, in the in the upright. You started something. You planted those seeds. This is like the same picture. Okay, this is like the same card. You planted those seeds. You put in that work. They thought that you were a peasant. They thought that you would never have anything to bring to the table. Okay, they didn't see the hard work you were putting into something here. And now I'm telling you, it's turned into a success or that's coming. Okay, um... Yeah, and they didn't know. They they just didn't they didn't know your value. Yeah, look, you flipped into the Empress and the Minor Arcana. I'm telling you, that's what happens with the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is underestimated. Okay, the Seven of Pentacles is somebody who works really hard on something and builds builds it up until the day that um, you can reap the rewards. And that's what's happening here. You're getting, it's the same thing. Thank you, Spirit. This is a huge confirmation. You're getting recognition and reward for all of the hard work you've put in. And this person here, a lot of people, a whole group, underestimated you big time, Cancer. They are literally choking on your success. Okay, for real. For real. And they're realizing here too, this is a this is an X that barely, I feel like they barely gave you a chance. That's what it feels like. They barely gave you a chance. They just they looked at your clothes, they looked at your job, they may have looked at your wallet and they said, "Nope." No, cancers, cancer, I guess cancer's always going to be nothing. That's kind of what they were thinking. Cancer's never going to succeed. Cancer's idea is crazy. You know, it's never going to pay off. Yeah, they're kicking themselves now, cancer. Okay? Oh, yeah, because everything that you've worked on has paid off. It's almost like everything you touch has turned to gold. And there's a lot more people out there that love what you're doing. You have, you've got more people that recognize your worth. 
than the ones who didn't. You got a little tiny itty bitty group of people. And then you've got like, it, it seems like you're being seen around the world. So you've got a whole world of people who do love you, who do love what you're doing, who do see your, your value and your worth, who are giving you recognition and accolades, right? All of a sudden I heard, yay, like people cheering for you, you know? That's what I just heard. You got a lot of opportunities around you. You know, a lot, maybe even new, new people who want to come in and court you, want to come in and date you. Okay, so um, yeah, you're starting something new here, Cancer. In all of this uh, wish fulfillment, okay? And this person, I am telling you, they feel like a big dope. Boy, do they feel dumb for, for um, misjudging you. Anyway, my darlings, um, I'm going to take this into Patreon. I want to see what action they're going to take, if, if any, because right now they're feeling too stupid to come in. Okay? Um, they are. They're kind of licking their wounds here. All right? Um, so, yeah, if, if you're interested in the part two... Uh, there's a link to follow in the description box below that'll take you straight to Patreon. Okay, and I'll meet you guys there. Um, Cancer, you just keep winning. Keep, keep working the way you do, right? And take the time to enjoy all of this, all right? Um, really, take the time to stop and smell the roses that you've grown, okay? And just know there's more success coming. Like, this isn't, there's no way you're over. I feel like um, your success has only just begun, okay? Like, this is solid. And it's something that you love to do. Like, you're, you love doing this. Whatever this is, it's making you really happy, and it's going to bring you a lot of money as well, okay? And that's what spirit wants for you. That's what spirit wants for the earth angel, Man, I'm telling you. Anyway, my darlings, that's what I've got. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Um, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel, Cancer. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.